I'll teach you about resonance, okay. how Tesla coils work. Okay. okay, I can do this in five minutes, watch. Um, I need bat. I need, I need a damn bat. I had. Ah! I have a stick. That'll work. Is there a baseball bat over here anywhere? Give me a bat. Thank you. Baseball bat. If I get in your way, you let me know. All right. Okay. Now, this is a heavy bag. Come here. Come here. You're delicate, but we won't break you. Sure. This is a heavy bag, all right? Yep. Now, punch it. It moves a little bit. Yeah. Okay. That's because you kind of hit like a girl. All right. Now, if you, you you're going to want to move over here. Right. Now, if I take this baseball bat. Now, this bag weighs about 80 pounds. Okay. If I take this bat. And I hit this. Now I'm gonna put way more energy into that than you did. Now you made it move about a foot, right? If I take this and just I just put a ton of energy into that, but it didn't move. You know, a couple inches. But if I take one finger and do that, it moves a lot. Now see how it has a frequency that it moves at? If I just poke it, it's not gonna do anything. But if I put a little bit of energy in at the right time, and that's the resonant frequency of the bag. You can do that electrically too. You can move electricity without wires. And I'll show you how it works. Now you know how two like charges repel, like two north magnets, two south magnets want to be away from each other? Well, this Aluminum is a non-ferrous metal. It means it doesn't contain iron. Okay? These are aluminum discs coated with a very microscopic layer of iron oxide. So these don't stick together. They are in no way magnetic. They're just discs of aluminum. Well, aluminum conducts electricity really, really well. Don't need that. All right, now, what I have here is a little power supply. Come over here, I'm not gonna break you, I okay, promise. I know this one. Okay, I got a little power supply, I got a switch, I got some three small capacitors. These capacitors dump all their energy through that little coil of wire. When they do that, they create a magnetic field. So if I put that on there, that will be inside its magnetic field. So I charge up those capacitors. Now when I dump that charge, it'll create a magnetic field. That magnetic field induces an electrical charge in the ring. That electrical charge creates a magnetic field which has the same polarity as this. They have the same magnetic force. They want to be away from each other. So when I let go of the button, the ring flies. Okay, and it works really, really well. It's, it's, it's great, it's simple science. And if I put a whole stack of rings on there, I can push a button down, I can charge it. We're putting charge from the power supply into the capacitors. I let go of the button and, and the rings go up in the ceiling. Okay, now take that to the next step and you have this, which, well here, we'll do it here with a little Tesla coil. This power supply charges these capacitors. When the capacitors reach full charge, a spark jumps across this gap and it dumps that charge from the capacitors into this primary coil. That big dump of energy from a capacitor into a coil, big magnetic field. And it comes out and goes whoa. And then when it collapses, all that energy gets magnetically coupled using inductance into the secondary. And that charge shoots up the secondary. It pumps like 15,000 volts into the bottom here. And that rockets up to the top and then comes back down. This is our heavy bag. We've just pushed it, it goes up, it comes back down, and right when it's up here, this fires again. And this is time so that 15,000 volts builds and it builds and it builds and pretty soon you flip the bag up to the ceiling or throw the arc out the top. That's how a Tesla coil works. We turn.